Well, good morning. Yeah, we're on another boat ramp. This is Watson boat ramp. And uh, yeah, I mean, look, look in the backdrop right there. I don't know if, if, if you guys can see it, but there's a cruise ship there. So let me show you guys what's going on here. Actually, let me turn this here. All right, so the sun is about to rise. I got my inflatable dinghy that we're doing the dinghy series. I would encourage you to see the dinghy series. And uh, this is Watson Island, guys. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go around all these uh, really, really expensive islands where all the celebrities and stars and powerful people live. And, uh, and then we're going we're gonna to have a little treat that's going to be even better wow there's a lot of sunk boats guys we're going to get we're going to get into the thick of it and uh, i was just talking to this food truck here um well it's a it's a pontoon boat but it's you know whatever it's a truck well it's not a truck you, you know what i mean so all right let's get on let's uh let's see what happens today oh man this is going to be interesting guys wait for it let's go <laughs> you have to have it on neutral you want to put your lanyard on, okay? That's just in case I fall off. Oh, look, there's dolphin there, dude. Or is it, or is it? Okay. Starts right up. Actually, this is under this. I didn't even choke it. All right, there's a little forward. All right, so I just put it into gear. Now there's no reverse, but there is a reverse. This engine will turn on its all the way if I have to, and then this arm will go the opposite way. So um, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be an interesting ride, guys. We're gonna go ahead and uh, I don't know. It's, it's it's just gonna be a fun day. Um, let me go scope out. Relax. I'm gonna get your gear, this camera, and I'm gonna eventually I'll be holding it and showing you guys what's in the area isn't it such a peaceful amazing morning I got the sunrise in the backdrop and uh, actually you know what I, I know what I know what I can do I think I can uh, I can do some changes in a little bit but once we're gonna get to, we're gonna get this video started guys man this is gonna be a cool video stay tuned Alpha Mountain wait for it I'm gonna go to neutral I'm gonna grab you you're gonna come with me I'm gonna hold you. I'm gonna hold you. Oh, like a little baby. Oh, like a little baby. We're gonna talk about it. Hey, what is going on here? At the logo. At the logo, Mercury. What's going on here? All right, time out. Little push button. I like that feature about this. I don't have to take off the lanyard to shut it off. I just push it in. Wait for it. All right, you guys ready? Ready for amazingness? Okay, here's here's your neutral and your gear. I'm I'm in gear right now, right? So I want to go in neutral. Boom! All right, welcome to amazingness. Now I put it in gear. Now, if I wasn't able to get it started, I have a little choke here, right? I'm gonna put my lanyard back on. I'm gonna put it on my hand and. Uh, Let's go see what we got going on here. Guys, I did bring a little bit of extra gas. If you missed the last video I did on the Miami River, I ran out of gas. I ran out of gas. So I got a little extension here too, if I wanted to. But I, I mean, I, I don't plan on using any of this stuff. I got an e perb and uh, I got a handheld VHF radio. And... Welcome to, I, I guess, probably the most desirable area in all of Miami, right? And uh, we got Star Island, we got Hibiscus Island, and uh, the sun is just starting to come up. It's forecast to rain today, and I know that there is some derelict boats in here, so we gotta also be careful with those. It's gonna be a cool video, guys. Might be a little long video because we're gonna we're gonna explore a little bit. We're gonna do things that most people can't do on a regular boat. So 
that's just going to make this a little interesting. Now, if you look over there in the backdrop, you see the cruise ships? There's a couple. I saw one coming in also earlier. Now, do you see the... <coughs> Excuse me. I haven't gotten over I, I have gotten over the, the, the flu, but it's still I have a lingering cough every now and then. So. These these boats that are here anchored are the, the this particular inflatable, if you look over there, that's a good reason why they would have something like this, right? You see this sailboat right here? Anchored, they got a little dinghy, but they have a hard bottom. This is a hundred percent inflatable and it's an Achilles eight foot inflatable hypalon okay hypalon is the type of material it is I'm, I'm using today a uh, mercury 2.5 four stroke four stroke meaning that I only have to put gas in it I don't have to mix gas or anything this setup as you see it now cost me about fifteen hundred dollars I did get the boat used um, but I didn't mind getting the boat used because I, I I, I knew the condition was very, very good. It's going to be a nice, peaceful drive. Yeah, it's going to be real cool, guys. Now, I'm going to show you guys the home of... I mean, I, I don't know. There, there's tours that will take you on this journey. Like, if you come over here to Miami... Um, out of Bayside, which is back there where you see the skyline of Miami, right, right around here, not too far. Um, you have um, tour boats that will take you along everywhere and you can see everything that's going on. This is primarily going to be done on idle, guys, because um, you're, you're in areas where there's no wake. But look, here's a perfect example of another little tender. that the person uses to go to shore. This is so cool, dude. Oh <laughs> my goodness, it's so tranquil, man. Alright, so I'm, I'm going to do... Here's what I'm going to do, guys. I've done... This trip that I'm going to do today, I've done it in the past. And you can only do it on a boat like this. So keep that in mind. You're not going to be able to do this on any other boat. It has to be a very small boat that can go under low bridges and stuff like that. So I do want you guys to see the homes. Oh, wow. It's a big plane. I, 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 I heard it rumbling. I was like, oh, nuclear missiles already. I've got so much to see. Relax, guys. There's a lot going on in the world. We're not here for that. Um, so yeah, I want you guys to see some of the homes, and um, I can theoretically show you guys exactly different points of where we're at using a, an app called What Three Words. So if you want to ask me in the comment section, Alfred, where are you right now, uh, and use the timestamp on the video, I can use the, the app What Three Words to tell you exactly where I was at this moment. I'm going to be using that app a little bit more so I can tell you guys. And basically, it's, it's, it's like a Google map, but it's squares that have three words on them. And then imagine there's a small square. Every little section has a square, and then you can kind of show where you're at. All right, let's look at this. Let's go ahead. and So one of the things that we have had and, um, and a lot of people complain about over here is that people will come off of the Miami River and then they start um, partying in these areas, right? Because look, look how cool these houses are, right? It doesn't get any more um, luxuri luxurious than this. Now, this is not Star Island. Star Island's a little bit forward. But there's, there's two, is it two or three islands right here which are probably the most expensive um, neighborhoods here in uh, 
Miami-Dade, Miami-Dade County, right? So, so this will technically be considered Miami Beach, but it still falls under Miami-Dade County. Now, a lot of celebrities and stuff like that will have uh, homes here. Some you know, some you don't know. The sun is starting to rise. Look at this Pardo, nice Pardo. We've done a lot of walkthrough um, on the Pardos at the boat shows. If you guys don't watch my, my boat walkthrough videos, check them out. I go to boat shows and we start walking all these boats so you can see what they look like inside. I was surprised how some of you guys were like, wow, the, the sound of the engine is so soothing. And uh, I was like, the whole time I was filming the minor river, I was like, damn, this is going to annoy the crap out of people. There's an axle part. I wanted to come do this kind of early because look, look how peaceful the, the, the water looks. I mean, it, it literally looks like glass. We got a lot of new construction here. In a lot of cases, people will go ahead and get these homes. They don't like them for whatever reason. They'll demolish them and build their own home. What's super desirable here is the location, right? Obviously waterfront and uh, it just gets nicer, guys. So it's gonna be a cool video. Um, we're going to go through some interesting areas, <laughs> and I'm going to try to do this unedited, you know? How awesome is this? Eventually, what I'm going to do with this dinghy series that we're doing, eventually I'm going to I'm going to set this little boat up to go fishing. Right now, we're doing kind of like tours and checking out the areas, but eventually, my goal is to show you guys um, a lot of areas where we can fish. The idea is to show you guys that you can do a lot on a little boat, as long as you're smart and where you're going. I mean, I'm not going to go out on on a day that there's small craft advisory out in the ocean, all right? But I don't need to, not not for what I'm trying to do. Not not on this boat, right? Who do you think is going to be the first person that says, Get off my lawn! Peasant! Look, there's a mannequin there to scare me off. excited about doing the uh, interactive series that I'm, I'm going to start doing uh, while I'm live so if you haven't seen it yet I'm going to be going live on Twitter which uh, actually lets me use um, spaces which is basically a voice chat feature that they have on Twitter and uh, between spaces and my live feed I can actually interact with people everywhere in the world while I'm filming as I'm live and somebody can talk to me as they're seeing the video in real time so it would be awesome to be able to have that feature incorporated within YouTube, but at the moment they don't have that feature, so. But it will be cool, it is gonna be cool. I've already done it a couple times. If you, if you haven't seen it, 
you'll, you'll see on my videos where it says interactive on it. That means that it's basically me talking to you guys and, um, as I'm live. It's really, really cool to be able to hear you guys from everywhere in the world. Nice little Kobe over here. Berkshire Hathaway, 960-5318-305, area code. This could be your property. You see, this will be a teardown right here. And, and sometimes, right? Sometimes, if the other property is also for sale, somebody will tear both down and uh, build the property they want. Alex Rodriguez, Gloria Stefan, um, there's so many famous people. Will Smith that have properties here or had properties here, Jennifer Lopez. Look at this. Now we're talking about a little bit more of a big boy. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is a big this is a bigger property right here. Now the biggest property on Star Island I believe is owned by Frost. Um, the guy who invented Viagra. Um, for those of you guys that are under 30, that might not know what Viagra is, just know that you're going to need it when you're older. Wait for it. For now, you don't need it. Okay. Don't even ask questions. Wow, these are nice. Now, look, look at look at the uh, look at the space to put a huge yacht here. There's a lot of space here to put a giant yacht. And we will see some um, dock along the sides of the houses. Like this would be technically their, their dock space for their yacht. Alright, so one of the things that I tell you guys, you, you, you can only get away with doing this with a small little inflatable or a small, small tender because we're going to go under that bridge right now. And it looks like we have a uh, not low tide, but the tide is not so so high right now. Wow, look at this property. Wow, they have a tennis court and everything. It's pretty badass if you can have a tennis court on this type of property, right? I'll tell you guys along the way what I um, what I think is the nicest house here. If I'm not mistaken. Also, there's a there's a house on the water here, like a, one of those like mansion yachts. And it's cool to see the different architectures based on when the houses were built, some are very modern. Um, they all have views from the very top roof, if you see that there. And think about it, you're there, and you see... Wow, let me tell you something. I don't know if I'm gonna fit. I'm actually gonna have to duck. Wow, wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Maybe a kitchen. Maybe. Wow, guys, this might not work. Hold on, I just want to move it. Don't tell me it's not gonna happen. This is the whole reason we did this. I just put it back into here. Let me pop it. Wow. Wait for it. What? Oh my goodness, guys. We can only do this with this thingy. This is wild. This, this is so wild. This is so wild. Oh my god. I'm going to lose my head. Wait for it. Wow, that was pretty. That was pretty cool. Um, 
not recommended to do that at home. Probably go another route next time. Just saying. Alright. Wow. We have conquered it. I knew we would have some low bridges, but that was uh we got another one of those coming up too, guys. First one, first time it's been done on camera. You know, speaking of that, <coughs> I do believe, I do believe that there is a rapper, maybe or a singer, an RB singer, that got hurt on one of those bridges in the past. Comment below. I, I, it just brought that thought. Um, I wonder if that was uh, Sean. Um, Oh, I, I, I don't know, guys. Google it and let me know in the comments below. Sean, I don't know. Sean, I, don't know. I thought he was a, a, an R&B or maybe like a Jamaican type. Oh, we got some uh, nice shots coming up here. Now... Typically, when you do the tours, you won't you not you won't see these areas, right? For the same reason, what we just saw, they're kind of locked within these two bridges. Um, not a hundred percent, you can get out, obviously, right? But the tour boats don't want to go ahead and be on mission, so they'll just show you kind of like the easier areas where they can come in and out, and then show you guys the tour and go from there. I don't know if you guys noticed, I ended up installing a camera mount. That's, that's a Bimini block that I use to, um, I make them for, for Bimini. Um, so if I wanted to put a Bimini, I would put another two here on port and starboard. And then I can have a little Bimini. But I, I want that there so I can go ahead and fix the camera and um, give that perspective. I'll, I'll use multiple cameras in the future. Sammy K3 from Montego Bay, Jamaica. Man, this is going to be such a cool video. Now, it's going to get a little dicey and a little bit too. Again, obviously we're going to go under the new bridge, but... We're going to go to an, through an area that you're not going to, you're going to be like, what the, where did that come from? Because when I first experienced it, many years ago, I was on a, I was on a smaller boat. No, about the same thing. It was a, it was a jet tender made by Nautica. I also got this temporary floor. This is just basically a mat. There's a, there's a foam. There's a it's a foam mat, and there's um under my feet where I'm sitting, there's um an air floor. So this entire boat is soft bottom, meaning that it's completely air. It's not hard bottom. Everything is air. I can literally deflate it and roll it up and put it in my car. You can put it in the trunk of your car, small car, big car. The reason I'm showing you guys this is because I want you guys to see that you can do a lot with a, a small boat. We got the Nina Lu over here, which is a huge guy. Wow, this is a big boy. More construction over here also. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if 
the person who has this massive yacht is living on the yacht while their house is being constructed. Only makes sense, right? One of the things I noticed when I was in Dubai, um, I did a, a series in Dubai and it was pretty cool. There was a lot of yachts, guys, a, a lot of mega yachts, like real, real big, big yachts. Trinity. Now, we're not far from Miami Beach Marina. Miami Beach Marina, pound for pound, has probably the most expensive yachts and boats in the area. If I had to say it, it would be from there, then maybe Hallover Marine Center has like a lot of center consoles. Not many yachts, but the Nina Lou looks pretty, uh, pretty massive, if, if you ask me. We also got a center console here that looks like it's the tender for the Nina Lou. And uh, what is it? It looks like an Intrepid from here. Look at this little tiny house, dude. Wow, what a tiny little house. See, that? that's one of those houses that have been there for forever. But little by little, guys, they're just, there's so much money. I mean, we're talking about 30, 40 million dollars just for the property because of where it's at. Now, close by, you have um, Fisher Island. Fisher Island is basically an island that you can only go to um, via a ferry or helicopter, but you have to be ferried in. Um, so it's, it's, it's desirable, but, it, but it, it is kind of a mission, right? But over here, there is bridges where you can come in, they're gated. Look at this house. So that's why these are probably the most sought after. All right, so so we have the other bridge, but we're not going to go. We're going to hook here to the left, and I'm going to show you guys the um, the biggest houses. And we might even get some food on the water. Um, the, there's some, 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 those pontoon boats that we saw earlier. I, I wouldn't mind getting a little bit of ceviche while I'm on the water here in this little inflatable. Um, look, 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 out, look at the privacy that these guys have here. Like, this is like get off my lawn, get your eyes off my lawn, everything off my lawn. Watch. Get off my lawn! Actually, I like this. I really love the palm trees and the royal palms. I, I think that's bad as hell. We still have this tranquil water as well. The sun's already coming up. It's pretty up there already. We got a CV here. CVZ Step Hall. Looks like it's maybe 39. Those, those boats are very capable, guys. Good fishing boats, really um, strong boats to go in rough waters. Look, a little whaler. Boston whaler. Um, I like that property right there, guys. I really do. If I hit the lotto 600 million this weekend, I think that's it, right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and knock on the door and see you're gonna have to move. I'm buying you out. Let's see what's going on over here. Todd Mitchell Glacier. So it's Todd Michael Glacier. More construction over here. All right. Star Island is up here.
We're gonna get moving a little bit. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the camera facing me and uh, we're gonna go ahead and make a scene a little bit. So we're starting to see some ripples now. Wow, there's so many nice houses to pick. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take you to this little island. Let's go to this little island on the way to where we're gonna go. Might as well explore, right? Adios is the name of this shot here. early in the morning guys it's about 7 something already 7 30 maybe 7 30 7 45 okay, we still have the skyline in Miami this seaweed last time that I was doing the video in the Miami River as soon as I finished the video I ended up getting um, this little outboard overheated on me and um, it put me like in some type of guardian mode I had to wait about maybe 10 minutes for it to cool down. I took the cowling off and uh, what happened was that seaweed was blocking the impeller from getting um, water. To, uh, we'll get to this little island on the weekends. It, um, I'm sitting on the food right now, so you guys, so you guys know. On the weekends, it gets kind of busy on these little islands here. And if you look back there, the port of Miami is also back there. You see some of the container ships. On, the, on this side, there's cargo, and then on the opposite side of the port is where the cruise ships go. And they all come into an area called Government Cut. To think, huh? When, you know when I'm at Black Point and I film the Chicho, um, I always see a small boat and I say, whatever it takes, guys, whatever it takes. It doesn't take much to be out on the water, right? As long as you um, know what you're doing, and you'll learn. You're not gonna always know at first, right? But as long as you know what you're doing, it's uh, it's cool. Now, I will always say, start off with something smaller so you can learn. I mean, it doesn't have to be this small, guys. I'm showing um, this to make a point. But it doesn't have to be this small, but obviously something that you can learn from, make mistakes with, 
and then little by little you just get bigger and bigger and bigger until you're most comfortable. I think a big mistake a lot of people do is they get a boat that they can't really handle and it becomes such a mission that they never use it. So imagine having a boat and you never use it. Look at the birds in the background. Alright, so we're getting close to this island here. Now this is kind of like the area where all these tour boats will pass through. And that property over there in the distance is the Frost property that I was telling you guys about. Um, and um, it's, it's definitely the biggest property in all of these islands. So it's, it's worth a lot of money because of that reason. Look at the differences of the water. Look how, and it just gets no, ripples, 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 and nothing. And um, we're gonna beach this little inflatable, and we'll scout up the island while we're going to our main video, right? I already feel I, I already picked up some of that seaweed. I feel it. I'm turning it around a lot because I, I I'll, I'll show you guys now in a minute once we get to the island. Technically, this little Achilles inflatable, technically, let's look here. It says up to four people, right? Or 950 pounds. So, if you're 600 pounds, bro, you can make it happen. And still bring a couple of burgers. It doesn't matter. We got this. We got this with uh, the little kitties. Now, if you've been watching my series, um, the Lauderdale Inflatables actually gifted me, not this boat, I bought this one used. I bought this one actually before they gifted me a smaller one, which is six feet without uh, an in, uh, inflatable floor. So that one is just different, and it's PVC. Different material, less expensive. So it's an option, but um, I also talked about some of the disadvantages of having PVC, right? It's not gonna it last as long as Hypalon. Hypalon is almost three times more expensive though. All right, we just got here to the island. Guys, whenever you come to these islands, keep in mind that whatever you bring as far as garbage, remove it. Look how clear the water is. Look at this, look at this little beach, guys. How cool is, oh my goodness, it's, it's beautiful. And then we got a sunk 
boat right here, bro. Why, bro? Why? It was so nice. It was so nice. Everything was beautiful. Let's go scope it out. We might as well, right? Look, 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 look. Was there a dolphin there? I just saw something bob up. It might be a dolphin or a manatee. Somebody put a, a rope on here. Wow. <laughs> they tried to float it up as much as they could. Like a keeper to me. What do you guys think? Yeah, definitely a keeper, guys. I think uh, I think this one. I don't know, guys. Maybe what Craigslist? I I'm gonna look, I gotta take a snapshot right here and put it on Craigslist for sale. Needs a little work. I'll do it just to just to create a chit chat. All right. Um, you know they're saying it says the first guy always eats the spiders, so that's why I don't want to go onto the island. <coughs> Excuse my Rona. I'm sorry, my my flu, my old flu. Skyline of Miami in the backdrop. Look, we got a little whaler out in the water. Now it is forecast to rain. I, I might, I might get rained on, but it's not a problem. I'm not, I'm not scared of it. I'm actually more scared of losing battery than I am uh, of rain. To be honest. So, so here we're gonna get, get onto some areas. I'm actually putting this to charge real quick. I want this battery to, to last me as long as it could. Right? So we can do an unedited Miami video the way out for next to do it. All right, so this is the little island, right, with the, with the monument. Now, Venetian Causeway is that little bridge in that way. And then where these buildings are, this is already Miami Beach. We go over that bridge over there. That's the bridge that uh, gets you to Fifth Avenue. I'm sorry, Fifth Street in Miami Beach. And if I go under that bridge to the left, we're going to be on Government Cut government cut and then um, we can be out into open ocean that's one of the inlets uh, which is called and that's where the cruise ships will come out of them. all right so I am gonna get on Google Maps real quick because there's a particular entrance I want to get to so while you guys are watching me drive I'm gonna go to Google Earth. Now, you guys gotta also keep in mind whenever you're on these small little dinghies, you gotta be mindful of your surroundings because there might be somebody gun coming 100 miles an hour, which it shouldn't be. Not not in this particular area, but um, 
And you always got to be mindful of your surroundings. And avoid people that could be a, a hazard to you. Okay, that, that memorial, I just saw it on Google Maps, it's called Flagler Memorial. And um, where are we going to go into? Okay. Alright, so we're getting close to where I want to go. In. Oh man, this is going to get interesting. It's going to get interesting in a little bit, my friends. We're almost to... I don't know. I don't know if we're going to make it. We'll find out. Um, last time... Last time I, I did this trip... Um, it's pretty tight. I ain't going to lie. It wasn't as tight as that bridge. It, it was because I probably did it in low tide at the time. Um, and, and I actually was on a hard bottom boat, so... The good thing about these little inflatables is that it doesn't weigh anything. I might run out of gas if I do run out of gas, and when I do run out of gas, I have extra gas. So don't worry about it. We're, we're good. Right? right? We're really good. So, I got enough to get back. If it came to that. I got a little gal in here. another um, hard bottom inflatable. This is a Highfield. Highfield is known for making aluminum hull bottom boats. And I, I, I think they're very desirable as well. Those are very, very good boats. Uh, especially as tenders. But, but it's a hard bottom, right? Different. guys run free all right so we're, we're about to get in here now this is like I said this is the bridge the causeway which is the Venetian causeway and in the Venetian causeway you can um, you can go towards Miami Beach as well look at the backdrop of Miami riding tours through all these areas all right guys so it's, it's going to start getting a little tight in a little bit we're getting close to the entrance that i want to go in through and uh, i don't know should be interesting look this guy has two uh bridge and inflatables one is a soft bottom saturn i believe and the other one looks like it's uh that one. It looks like a little coach boat.
motor sounds good until it doesn't. Ah! I'll swim before I run out of gas. I think I still have a little bit more. So the, um, it says that right now we're at uh, 47 minutes in. So, and essentially we've pretty much been on idle the whole time. Whatever you do when you're on these small boats and you're on a tender or anything or just passing through, don't, don't ever make weight. Because first you're going to get screamed at. They're going to remind you, you're a dog! You know? And, um, look, he's got a little mercury too. And uh, that's a little West Marine um, PVC boat. So that's that's actually smaller than this one. That's that's actually like a six footer. The little Zodiac, the, the Zodiac Cadet that we got from Lauderdale Inflatables, is um, about that size. All right, these are all residential properties here. from Watson, huh? Now, when we've done the riding tours, we've gone through this whole back area, right? And then eventually it leads us to the bridge on 5th Street, which uh, brings you into... Wow, this guy has it. Good, bro. This guy has... This guy has his own floating dock right next to his sailboat. Wow. Living it up, bro. Can you imagine just get more of those blocks and just put some grass and everything? And all of a sudden, now you <laughs> you own the water. So yeah, guys, these guys are all living rent free over here, right? There's no, there's no charge to anchor here. All right, so we're about to enter the entrance that I want to go in through. Um, oh my goodness. Is this one of these lawnmower? Yes. This is one of those lawnmower engines. Alex Volguera, a friend of mine, purchased one of these engines, I think, on Amazon. It's like a weed eater, dude. Alright, are you guys ready for this or what? Dude, guys, I'm telling you, you won't see this anywhere. I'm, when I tell you guys, you're not going to see this anywhere in the world. Because there's only one person crazy enough to do this. And that's yours truly. Alfred Montanin, the host of the Chit Chat, by the way. Alright, let's go back over here. Now, <clears throat> Technically, if I wanted to do a tour, I can get on my scooter, have somebody jump back on this boat, and head to South Beach from here. Right? So this is off of a main street here. Not, not off main street, just a regular street. Look, oh, that somebody else is beating me to the punch. Ah, they're doing it. They're doing it. All right. All right, here we have another bridge, low bridge, and um, this is the Venetian Causeway, which we're going to start seeing now. I told you guys, the longer you watch these videos, the better it gets. Regrettably, that's just how it is, right?
wait for it. Welcome to Italy, my friends. You can't do this on your 40 foot center console camera, right? There's nothing like exploring, guys. Nothing like exploring. So here's what I'm going to do real quick. Before we get in here, I'm going to give you guys, I hope I didn't just give you guys my password. <clears throat> Hold on. I'm going to open up what three words, what three words, and I'm going to show you guys exactly the location I'm in. All right. All right. See here? Hold on. Let me put this on. Okay. I just put I just put the, the thing on the okay. You see where it says here? Right here, this is exactly it said slid loosed novel. So if you go into the app. Oh boy, you better. Okay, if you go into the app and you type in those words right there at what three words, you'll find out exactly where I'm at right now. Okay? And now going forward. If you guys have a question, hey Alpha, where were you when you were here? You can you can ask me. Alpha, where are we at right now? Da da da. So <clears throat> it's exactly how I remembered it. Guys, it's been a long time since I've been here. Now, these areas here, um, they had to do a lot of uh, construction to raise this because it was prone to flooding, this area. Um, look, I don't know if this has something to do with that as well, some of this construction, but there's been a lot of flooding in this area. So we're on Hank Meyer Boulevard and 17th Street, if you're following on Google Maps. <coughs> maybe, you're, maybe you're a boomer and you, know, you don't want to use what three words. I get it, guys. I get it. See how there's a world within the world that you think you know but you don't know? There's a whole different world out here, guys. Look, somebody's got a, a little trap here. We should be running out of gas soon, so. And when that happens, I'll pause the video real quick. How cool is that? Wait for it. Convention Center and um, the Holocaust Memorial is not too far from where we're at right now. Alright, and now this bridge where we're gonna head to is uh, where the street light is, it's Alton Road. Mm -hmm. 
this place is called Oisteria. Uh, hold on. Romagnola. Morini Oisteria Romagnola. Wait, somebody put a crop shop right here in the center. Not so so tight guys, I don't have to Let there be light! You know there's so many cool things I've done in the past that I'm like, man, I wish I would have had a YouTube channel at that point. But All right, we're on Alton Road, guys. That's Alton right there. Got a Chase Bank right here. Look, if you don't, if you don't want to have an inflatable, and you want to do the same thing, you can do it on a kayak. Uh, here, there's a Hobie kayak, a little outboard also. It looks like a. This is here. Alright, let me head up the corner over here because I don't want to lose my head. How cool is this? This is, you know, private property here. Look at this nice little lot. Okay, but I'm going to blow your mind a little bit. Look at, look at this, guys. Aren't you glad you stuck around? Look guys, this can be you. Right there, you walk in. Security camera here and everything. It's a little dock, dude. Just right off of the street. Docking or but why is there why do they get the privilege? I like, I, you know, I do premieres with you guys, and I'm watching within the premiere, and you guys are still not liking the videos. So you watch the entire video, but you're like, ah, no, I'm not gonna like the video because I just wanna hold out the back. Hey, smash that like for you not running out of gas yet, bro. I'm pretty impressed so far, buddy. A little 2.5 Mercury coming through. 
I do expect it to lose gas in a little bit there. Alright, so I remember that I told you I was going to blow your mind? It's about to happen, guys. So wait for it. Like, if I had to guess, we're probably around like maybe three, three and a half feet of water, if I had to guess, right now, looking at the, uh, the height of the water. Now you can say that Alfred took you there. It's kind of cool how you guys can see things through my eyes, through my camera, to your eyes. I'll tell you what, this, this little outboard is going to put a lot of people to sleep. All right, so we're getting across here to the Holocaust Memorial, guys. And, um, it's here in Miami Beach, and immediately you see how the bridge changes. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to see it because of where we're at, but, but look. some bamboo right here. There's basically a hand back there. It's, it's hard to see it. But that is the Holocaust anymore over here in Miami Beach. And I would encourage you guys to go take a look at it. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll come back in my car and uh, just do a little bit of footage of it so you guys can see it without being unobstructed. We'll see if I'll drop it in the video. Now coming up is the Miami Beach Convention Center. So here is the Miami Beach Convention Center. I may just take advantage of this whole day and um, eventually continue this video, right, on another video. So keep that in mind. If you go to the playlist section of my channel, when you type in Alfred Montaner, there's sections called playlists. This is going to be called the Dingy Series. Here is the Miami Beach Convention Center. Mm -hmm. 
you guys would have never known this was a possibility. There's people in Miami that have been boating their whole life that don't know anything about this. And that's the convention center there. Now we have a huge convention center and this year the boat show was at the Miami Beach Convention Center. And um, it had a major refurbishing done to it. So here's, if you're following me on Google Maps or on what three words, <coughs> we're about to get to a section here that it completely changes. Completely. A hundred percent. So right now we're on Alton, heading down Alton, and um, we're going to eventually get to Collins. I bet you a lot of people don't even know that there's this little sitting area right here. So you can just chill, hang out right next to a convention center. More traps. We got some artwork over here too. Kind of nice. Oh my goodness, I think this is the last bridge, guys. This is the last bridge. I do believe this is the last bridge. Now, theoretically, if I if I ran out of gas, there's a gas station here, not too far. Um, but I have gas. I have gas. I have gas in here, and I do have a VHF radio. And nobody's gonna rescue me here, guys. Tobo US is not gonna rescue you from from this one. This one, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to sweat a little bit. It's gonna have to happen. All right, so this area of this little waterway is gonna open up. And then we're gonna see some massive, massive houses. Um, another very, very, very high-end area where a lot of people have properties, and really nice shots coming up, so. A big uh, smash, uh, a big like for yourself for uh, sitting through this video so long, right? Um, I think this is badass, and I enjoy showing you guys everything that's going on here. I thought that was the last bridge, but it's not. There's another. But we are getting close. We are getting close, guys. 
besides, it worked. It's not like you got something to do. I mean, you might as well just hang out with me. And you guys can see all this amazing stuff. Now, now it's going to get really, really nice. So now, <clears throat> the waterway that we're going to connect to, oh boy, it's getting a little shallow over here. Look at this. Oh boy. You got to be careful here. Oh yeah. You got to kind of stay in the center. Over here, things are getting a little dicey, my friends. A little dicey over here on the beach. Um, oh, here's the gas station. You know what? On the way back, I'm definitely gonna I'm gonna fill up and I'm gonna get more gas. Anyways, all right. So there, there's a gas station. That's 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 very very exciting to see. Now I can, one of the things I like about the little Yamaha is that you can go ahead and put an external tank to them. This one, not so much unless I have to modify it, right? If I modify it, what is this? Is this apartment building or house? I'll tell you, since the last time I came and did the same tour by myself, it's, it's changed a lot. So here's what will probably happen off camera at some point guys. I'll probably go ahead and go to that side right there, tie up the boat for a second, get fuel so I can go ahead and have more fuel for later. Even though I don't need it, right? I don't think I'll need anything to, to get to back to where I was, but I always like to have options. If I, if I have options, the better, right? Doesn't it feel like we're like in a whole different area that's not Miami Beach? Got some people here just hanging out having a Oh god, I just got caught on. Florence! Florence! Send it! Send it! Oh my goodness, I got caught on! She was only 23 feet away! It's possible to perish! Look at this. A body shot here? Alright, hey, 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 pay attention, bro, pay attention. Before this right here will ruin your life. This tree, this tree is a detriment to society. Why? Why hasn't it been removed? Oh, look at the size of that snook! Oh my god! Do you guys see the size of that snook? Oh my god, oh my god. The snook and the sheep head. Holy smack! What the f oh. Bro, did you see the size of that sheep head and the snook? Oh my god! Oh my god, this place is gonna get lit up. Bro, I know I know you guys, bro. I know you guys. Oh my goodness, bro. What a snook. Multiple snook. Wow. I cannot believe I just saw that. Bro, I am in shock. Look, look, you see these ripples here? You might see them again. You might see them, in, they might be here. Wait, 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 wait for, look, 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 that's, that's finger mullet. But that's why they're here, guys. That's why they're here. The mullet are gonna get jacked by the freaking by the snook. Wow, what size, the size of those snook. I hope, I hope you guys saw that on camera, bro. Holy smack, baby fish killer will, will lose it if he sees that. All right, guys, well, listen up. This video just got more interesting right now. I know, I know, the, the fish thing is, look, some, some guy's gonna jump, guys. He's gonna jump, he's on the top of the building. Damn it, bro. Don't do it, bro. She wasn't worth it, bro. She wasn't worth it. Don't do it, my friend. She doesn't love you. Oh, there's probably water in the bottom. I mean, he might make it, guys. How do you guys like this tour? Hey, you better smash that like. If you don't like it, you don't like this video, um, 
I'm gonna disown you as a subscriber. Wow, I, I, I have made a classic mistake of not having a fishing rod on this thing. Even though I don't like to eat snook, because I think it's disgusting, but it's a delicate, it's, it's a delicacy. Great boat, uh, great fish to eat. I personally don't like it, I don't know why. Maybe in my past life I was a snook, I don't know. All right, my friends, we have come to the end of the road. We're on 24th Street. Wait for it, wait for it. And Collins. And yes, this is the end of the road. All right. So now we've done walking tours. Okay, listen up, listen up, guys, listen up. We've done walking tours throughout this whole area. This is Collins, right here. And Collins will go all the way, it's on 23rd, 24th, 25th, all the way till we reach Hallover Inlet. Now I can go to Hallover Inlet through here as well. This is a hotel that you guys can stay at. Um, if you come to Miami, what is the name of this hotel? It's changed, but it's, it's actually been renovated a lot. It's on 23rd Street, guys. 23rd Street and uh, Collins. And then our walking tours, we've done them through, through all here. And now if you come to Miami, and you wanted to rent a boat, you can rent them from here. And now, you have just seen something many, many people, oh, it's called the Gates, okay? That's what this one is called now, guys. It's called the Gates. Um, <clears throat> now, if you wanted to rent a boat here, these guys here, for many, many years, have rented boats. How cool was that, huh? And that's where we just came out of. Now, on the way back, since I'm gonna go a little bit faster, I'm not gonna go this route, right? Here are the boats where you can rent. Let me see if I can get a name for you guys. So these boats, you can rent them out and um, they're right off of 24th Street in Collins. So you can come, where is it, where is it? Damn, they should have a sign. Maybe the sign is on the other side. But nevertheless, they're on 24th, guys, and Collins. So if you come over here, maybe go to that kiosk over there. You can. Now this waterway, will lead us all the way down to the very expensive homes. And um, we're going to continue that video. But we're going to continue that video on another video. So now we're going to go ahead and see the continuation of that video on this one. This is Helen Marr. I, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you want to see the continuation of where I'm going to go next, I'm going to keep on going this way. So now we're going to see very, very high-end homes. We're not going to see it in this video because that's it. This, this one is kind of long. But if you guys want to see the next video or check out the whole dinghy series. I did the same video in the Miami River. It's going to be definitely cool. So I don't know. Wait for it. After a month and making a scene as always, guys, dinghy series. I got to put a flag on this boat. Yeah, I got to put a flag. Wait for it. Ah. I figure at the very, very end, I figure at the very, very end, I might as well show you guys exactly the little breakdown, right? Just quick. Oh man, there we go. All right. 
Remember that I told you it was all soft? All right. That's it. My boat is uh, now. I'll come here. I'll take these off. That stays on there. I'll come here. Put that there, and then what I'll do is I'll fold this up. Put it in a little burrito, which it comes with, and uh, amazingness. See that, guys? See that? All that we just did right here. All right? I'm not going to fully remove it and put it in a burrito because I'm actually going to go somewhere else. This is Watson. That's it, guys. I'm out of here. Alfred Montaner. I told you, whatever it takes, bro. It doesn't. You don't need a lot to to be out on the water. Just use your brain.